Hey, what's up guys, Daniel here in the tech studio. This is part two of my most requested review ever, the Sony NS7. Link below the like button, check out part one. This one's just gonna be about gaming and why these are the best gaming headphones that aren't even headphones. Lots to talk about, let's get into it. Okay, just to recap, this is Sony's newest wearable speaker headphone things. $300 full price, but they do go on sale for $200. Literally life-changing, incredible, sensational. The opposite of dog water. Everything is explained in that review, so check that out. Okay, so let's talk about gaming headphones. I have these Sony Pulse 3D headset for PS5, and they're pretty good. 100 bucks, Bluetooth, dope design you can choose the height of the sound in the settings and they do an okay job giving you 360 ish surround sound experience the thing about headphones and surround sound though is that they're a little counterintuitive why surround sound works is because there are literally speakers around you physically pushing the air to create sound behind you in front of you Etc. This is why we can perceive it as surround sound. I'm gonna put this down. This is really hard to do, if not possible, authentically with headphones. You can emulate 360 audio and it kind, kind of sounds all right, but it will never be true authentic 360 audio. This NS7 is nearly, with an asterisk, authentic surround sound because there are speakers below you and physically behind your ears. When you hear something behind you, it's because the sound is literally coming from behind you. Now I say nearly because it's not true surround sound because you'd need more channels and speakers and what we have right now. Let me know in the comments below what games you try this speaker with. I'm thinking horror games would be absolutely bonkers. And while you're down there, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me, please. And thank you. You don't want to miss a new video, right? Right. The true reason these are the best gaming headphones is because gaming is already a 360 sound experience. There's a difference between watching a surround sound movie and being in the surround sound movie. A 3D world you are actively a part of requires, I'm going to say it, requires you to experience it in 3D. For the best accuracy here, go ahead and put on headphones for this next part. And if you have these, go ahead and put these on. Honestly, you need <laughs> to try these speakers with game. It immerses you in the game and at the same time makes you a better gamer because you now have that 360 effect. It's, it's like gaining a new sense in a way. It's like a new way to experience and play the game because once you, once you experience this, there's no way you can go back to regular headphones. Like, promise you, you're not going back to headphones. Now, we got to talk about the bad. We have integrity here. There are some drawbacks to this speaker that I'm really hoping Sony will fix in the next iteration. For one, there is no aux port on these. So you can't just plug these into your controller. That would have been dope. Not going to work. The dongle 
only connects to the headphones and the dongle can only be connected to the TV via an optical cable. Oh, and I checked, you can't connect these to a PS5 raw with no dongle, even though it's a Sony speaker and it shows up in the Bluetooth list, but it's not compatible. Why? <laughs> the other big caveat is you can't use the microphone in this thing for gaming. Me, personally, I rarely, if ever, play online. And if I do play online, I'm not using the mic. So for me, this is totally not an issue. But if you play a lot of multiplayer games, COD, Apex, Halo, etc., and you really need a mic, sorry, you can't, you can't do it here. You can always get an external mic, but I mean, these are already $300 speakers. So spending another 40, 50 bucks on an external microphone seems kind of crazy just to have a mic. So mm. real quick, I have a theory of why you can't use a mic on these. Now, this connects to a dongle connected with an optical cable to the TV. An optical cable is a one-way street. It can only send data, not receive it. Plus, even if you could get input through the optical cable, it's connected to the TV. So how would it even send that data back to the console? The only fix here is connecting it straight to the console. Again, my theory, I might be wrong. Okay, so I already talked about if this thing is worth it in my review video, so no need to repeat myself here. After just going over those pretty glaring issues, these are still life-changing for me. I'll be on honestly, truly, they are. I don't do online gaming, mainly single-player games, so these are just literally perfect for me. So, for gaming, these are a 5 out of 5 chilies. For me, at least, these are the ultimate gaming headphones that aren't even headphones and even if you do a lot of online gaming where you need to talk if you can afford this go ahead and splurge on a good gaming mic anyway you know why not ultimate gamer needs the ultimate setup right do it if you do a lot of online gaming or any gaming at all let me know what you think about these things in the comments below that's it thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next one peace